Hi everyone, welcome to Cooking from the Heart with Julie. Today we're going to be making Cuban style pig's feet with chickpeas. Uh, also known in Spanish as paticas de cerdo con garbanzos. It's an absolutely amazing dish, very savory and finger, finger looking good. It's delicious. So let me show you the ingredients. So we have about four and a half pounds of pig's feet cut into two or three pieces. You have your butcher do it. We have three large potatoes cubed into, I would say about uh, two and a half inch pieces or so. One pound of dry chickpeas or garbanzo beans. A quarter head of cabbage, a quarter to half a head of cabbage. I'm using about a uh, half, I think, here. One diced green pepper, one diced yellow onion, one Spanish chorizo cut into slices or dials. We also have two to three plum aroma tomatoes chopped fine. about four tablespoons of your preferred cooking oil. It could be olive oil or vegetable oil, canola oil, whatever cooking oil you prefer. One teaspoon of salt. I usually start with about one teaspoon for most of my meals because you can always add salt, uh, but it's very hard to take away salt. So uh, I just go tasting it. And we can always add a little more. A quarter teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of oregano, ground oregano, two small bay leaves. You can also use one large bay leaf, but my bay leaves are kind of small, so I, I use two. And of course, one little envelope of Sazon Goya con culantro y achote, with culantro and achote. Um, it's very delicious seasoning packet. Again, it's optional. If you don't have it, it's okay, but I do like the little punch that it packs. Alright guys, so first things first. I'm wearing my, my rooster apron today. I don't know if you can see it. The lighting's horrible in here. But hopefully we'll resolve that issue soon. So we're going to go ahead. We're using a pressure cooker. So put the flame on. We're going to put it uh, high to medium high, closer to the high end. We're going to go ahead and add our pig's feet. You have to wash the pig's feet very well under running water. Give them a nice rinse to wash them. Just put that in. And what I'm going to do is add the onion very carefully, the green pepper. chorizo, our tomato, and our cooking oil. So we have this on high flame. We're going to go ahead and give this a good mix. And make sure we incorporate and mix all the seasonings we just put in. So what we're basically trying to do here is saute the onions, the peppers. You know what I just realized? I forgot garlic, guys. In addition to this, add about two cloves of garlic. I'll probably put two or three. I love garlic. It's your personal taste. But I'm going to go ahead and add two or three garlic cloves minced, just so you know. I totally forgot to add the garlic. but. At least I caught it in time. So we're going to go ahead and on high heat or high flame, 
we're just gonna let the onions and the green peppers uh, get translucent and sauteed and try to see if we can uh, brown the meat a little bit. Okay, my friends, after about uh, five or 10 minutes, you gotta keep your eye on it because I didn't put too much oil. Um, I didn't put too much oil because pig's feet is uh, gelatinous. So it's going to um, add the little bit of fat and that gelatin into it. So we really don't need too much oil, but then you have to be careful that it doesn't stick to the pot. So, I hope you guys can see this good. So, after you put them in, with five or ten minutes, stirring occasionally, keeping your eye on it, making sure it's not sticking. And, I don't know what's wrong with me today. I forgot to also add into the ingredients besides the minced garlic. Uh, we're going to need about a quarter cup of white cooking wine, dry white cooking wine, or any white wine you have on hand, but preferably dry white cooking wine, and also um, a can of tomato sauce. So I'll go ahead and put a little um, note on the video, a little page, so you guys know and have it uh, in writing so you can see it. Doesn't that look yummy already? So go ahead and after 5 or 10 minutes, lower your heat uh, to about medium. And just keep your eye on it. Make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pot or burn. Alright guys. I don't know if you can see this. Oh, you can't. Let me bring, let me bring it to you. Hold on. Let me get it uh, off my little stand here. Whoa. Alright guys. Do you see the color that it's getting? That's what we're looking for. So once we have it, let me put you back up here. We're gonna go ahead and add one can of tomato sauce. Oh. Hey, stay there, buddy. Hold on. Cooperate with me. Cooperate with me, camera. Hold on, guys. All right, let's see. Bear with me. Okay, hopefully he's a little better. So we added the tomato sauce, the cumin, the oregano, and the salt. Some dry cooking wine, some dry white cooking wine. Let's say about a quarter cup. Okay, so we're gonna have this on about medium. I don't know why this keeps slipping. Hold on, guys. Let me see. Okay, that's better. So now, since we put the cooking wine, we want to go ahead and let it evaporate, the alcohol evaporate. So go ahead. Make sure. Let me see if I can mix this, because the pig's feet are a little heavy. Let me see if I can mix it with the plastic one, so it doesn't make so much noise on the camera. Okay. Very nice. After about a minute of adding the white wine, now we're going to add the one pound of chickpeas. Now the chickpeas, guys, when you get them out of the, the bag, you want to give them a good rinse. Just to make sure they're nice and clean and don't have any debris on them or any small stones sometimes that you may find. 
right. so we're mixing that in. We're almost done. I'm about to put the uh, cover off for the pressure cooker. So we're going to let that, we're going to leave that on the fire just for a minute or two. Okay, so now let's add water. Approximately nine to ten cups of water. I added about nine cups. So we want to add enough water to almost cover everything completely. Okay, you see? I mean, a little bit of pig's feet peeking out, but not too much. So we're gonna go ahead, put the lid on the pressure cooker. Once it starts sounding, or once it's under pressure, we're gonna leave it on here for 15 minutes. So after about 15 minutes, we're gonna release the pressure carefully from our pressure cooker and we're gonna check to see. So I just took the lid, you know, I released the pressure from it slowly and it's looking fantastic. So what you're gonna wanna do is, in a little plate, put one of the pieces of pig's feet and a couple of uh, chickpeas just make sure they're tender especially the pig's feet and the uh, chickpeas can be mm, almost totally done because we still have to cook it a little bit more without the pressure so what we're gonna add now is our sazon goya I give it about 18 minutes, not 15, because garbanzo beans or the chickpeas are pretty tough. So I gave it a, a two or three extra minutes. So I added that. Okay. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and add the potatoes. Just went ahead and drained some water. Guys, when you cut potatoes and you don't want them to brown, just go ahead and put them in a bowl with some tap water and they, they won't brown. So let's put the potatoes in. See, they're a nice size. About one and a half inches. So carefully put them in. them down make sure they're in the liquid some people put pumpkin diced pumpkin in there feel free to do so I personally don't but you can um, cube some pumpkins just like the potatoes the same size with or without the peel I like to leave the the peel or the skin on going. I need new pots. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to get a spoon and taste to see if we have to add any additional seasoning. All right, let me see. Let me blow a little bit. Oh, yummy. I'm going to add a little more salt. Just a tad. Maybe like another half a teaspoon or so. Stir it 
stir it in. So you can see I have a little bit of white rice going in this pot. Oh, this looks like it's coming out amazing. Let me show you guys. Hold on, let me. Oh, I can't turn it around when it's like this. Like this. Let's see. You see? Yummy, yummy. So the pressure cooker, once it starts getting pressure, guys, once you see that it gets pressure, um, go ahead and lower it to about medium, medium low. And um, that's it. Once the pressure's, pressure cooker is done, 15 to 18 minutes, release the pressure carefully. And you add the potatoes and taste it to see if it needs any additional seasoning. It's coming out really good. So we have the potatoes simmering in here for about 10 minutes. Gently stirring as we go along. Now we're going to go ahead and add our bay leaf or bay leaves. I'm adding two since they're very small. And we're going to go ahead and add our cabbage. So cabbage quick, cooks very quickly. That's why we leave it for last. All right, so gently stir. Make sure the cabbage gets in there. And that's going to be our final step. We're just going to wait for the cabbage to cook a little bit. Oh, yummy, yummy. This smells out of this world. Okay. So we want it uh, simmering, a nice simmer. Make sure everything's covered in the liquid so it can cook the cabbage. So push it down a little bit. And we're almost done. So once you put the uh, cabbage in, just wait for that to get soft and cooked through. And that's it. You're ready to serve your, your meal. This came out so good. I haven't made this in a while. And I hope you guys really enjoy it. Um, I gotta say, my video skills may not be on point, my editing skills might be lacking, but my cooking game is on the money. Let me show you. Here's our finished product. You see? So you got some pig's feet, some cabbage, some Spanish chorizo, served with some white rice, and of course a slice of avocado. You can't get more Cuban than this, my people.